hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install linux mint on your virtual box for those that don't know virtual box this is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see we are currently running windows server manjaro on our virtual box now you can run multiple operating systems on your virtual box so the first thing we have to do is to download and install virtual box so open your google chrome browser and then search for virtual box now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM Virtual Box. So click on it. And then by the left, click on Downloads. And then you can see Windows Host over here, which is for Windows Machine. You can see OS X for Mac OS and different other operating systems. So let's click on Windows Host since we are using the Windows Machine. And it would start downloading. I already have it installed, so no need to download again. But after downloading, you can install just like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on your machine. Now the next thing we have to download is Linux Mint ISO file. So search for Linux Mint. And you can see the first page over here, Linux Mint Home. Click on it. Now you can see Linux Mint 21. So let's click on download. That's the latest version right now. Now there are three editions. You can see the Cinnamon Edition, Mate Edition and Xface Edition. Now, these are the same software, but each has a different customization, so you can choose any one that you prefer. So, let's go with the Cinnamon Edition. So, let's click on Download. Now, you can see the size 2.4 gigs. So, I would advise you use an internet download manager if your network is not stable. Now, these are different mirror locations, so you just have to choose one and download. So, let's go with the word Global Location. And it is now downloading. I already have this downloaded, so I just have to cancel. Now you can see the file already downloaded in my PC, Linux Mint 21 made 64 bits. Now open your virtual box. Let's create a new virtual machine. So let's click on tools and then click on new. Now let's call this Linux Mint. Now select the type over here and change it to Linux, the version to Ubuntu 64 bits and then click on next. Now select the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this machine. Now, you shouldn't give more than 40% of RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host PC. So, let's give this 5 gig of RAM. Next. Create. Now, select VDI. Next. Dynamically allocated. Next. And now, the maximum amount of storage you want to allocate to this machine. So, I will give this 49 gig. Create. Okay, so you can see the specs of our newly created machine. Now, we can modify some of these things over here by clicking on settings up here system now this is the base memory which is the ram you can change whenever you want click on processor and then allocate cpu calls to this machine so you can see from one to four is good and then from five to eight is not recommended now this is actually based on your pc hardware so you just have to choose within the good range now go to display and then set the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration and then ok so we are done with that now we have to import the iso file and to do that click on start Okay, so now we have to select the file by clicking on this file icon over here. Click on Add. And then select Linux Mint 21. Open. Choose. And once you click on Start, it would initiate the installation. So let's click on Start. Now hit Enter. Okay, so now we have to begin the installation. So click on Install Linux Mint. Now this is the installer and we can begin the setup. So set up the language and then continue. Keyboard layout, continue. So you should install multimedia codecs, but I don't really need this since this is just a test. So I will just continue. Now we have to erase disk and install Linux Mint. So make sure that option is selected. So it is going to erase the disk we allocated to Linux Mint and then install it on that disk. So there is nothing to worry about. It won't erase your host computer disk. So let's click on install now. Continue. Okay, so select your region and then continue. Now enter your details. Choose a password. Now, require my password to log in. I would recommend that since you don't want any other person to access your machine. So, you can encrypt your home folder if you want and you would use the same password to log in. 
but I don't really need that. Continue. So it would begin the installation. Now this may take some time so you can grab a cup of coffee while you're waiting. Okay, so we are done with the installation. This was like 10 minutes, so it didn't really take long. Now click on continue testing and then shut down the machine. So you just close the machine, power off, okay. Now open your virtual box. Now we have to remove the ISO file. So the next time we are booting it, it won't start the installation again. So go to settings and then go to storage. Now you can see under controller, you can see Linux Mint 21. Right click on it and then remove attachment. Remove. OK. Now click on start. Now let's log in with your password. And we are in. So basically, this is how to install Linux Mint on your virtual machine. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.